Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello, my name is Mackenzie. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Today I am back with another Shein try on haul. You guys have been loving seeing these lately and I've been loving producing them because I've been getting all kinds of awesome stuff from them. So today is Black Friday edition. They are having a huge sale right now. I will leave details and coupon code, all that kind of stuff in the description bar so that you guys can save 15% off while you're shopping this holiday season. I'll leave links down there, a blog post where I'm styling some of these pieces and sizing info so that you guys can get the full scoop. Without further ado, let's hop right on. So I hit this sweater jackpot this time around and I was so happy. I was in dire need of a few oversized, really chunky, cozy sweaters and I found a lot of good ones. So the first one I grabbed is this white sweater right here and this is in a size small and it's super oversized. Definitely runs rather big but it's the perfect chunky oversized fit. I'm very glad that I grabbed this in a small. It is a v-neck and you can kind of wear it a little slouched off the shoulder if that's what you're into. Sleeves look like this and it's got just a little bit of a slit along these sides. Super cute, very comfy and a lot you can do with this. This is the kind of sweater that you can wear with leggings, you can wear with jeans, dress it up or dress it down. Speaking of sweaters that you can do a lot with this gray one is very similar to the white one I just shared it's a little bit wider and the sleeves are definitely longer a little more oversized I'm wearing this one in a size extra small and again it does run rather large this is from the Shein premium line which is one of my favorite lines from them these materials are usually more sustainably sourced they're much softer and they're just overall higher quality the price point is higher but the quality of the clothes is really reflective um, in what you get so I love this very very soft this one's definitely soft than the white one this is more of like a chunky knit whereas this one's like a fuzzy knit you guys know I had to keep the trend going and I got a very similar style in this tan as well I just like I said guys I really needed some oversized basics these are such an essential whether you are a teacher you work in a professional setting if you are a college student because like I said you can dress them up you can dress them down and they're really easy to layer with so one of my key favorite ways to layer a v-neck like this is to wear a fitted black bodysuit that's a turtleneck underneath then you can pop a cute jacket over top maybe a puffer you can even go for a denim jacket and there you go you've got three layers but you're not really adding a lot of bulk to your outfit either you definitely do lose a little bit of shape when you have a sweater this oversized so nothing that that can't fix just front tuck into your jeans and add a belt and bam you are good to go I picked up another gray sweater and this one is actually a mock neck I love turtlenecks I love mock necks they keep you super super warm and because I do go to school in Ohio temperatures get pretty chilly here and I always appreciate something around my neck especially if I am walking around campus this is also a great sweater if you do intern somewhere if you are working a big girl job and you need something a little more professional but you can still wear sweaters I love this it's very soft this is definitely one that I would leave hang and dry um, most of my sweaters from Shein I do not put in the dryer I just leave them out that way they don't shrink up and just because I find that they wear a little bit better this sweater is super super chunky and oversized I grabbed this one in a size medium just so that I could get a little bit extra sleeve length and it's perfect this definitely has more of that off-the-shoulder relaxed feel to it which I like you can kind of tell that it's more of a boat neck right here and it's got a little bit of this like barn red it's not exactly orange but it's not exactly red either and then it goes down into black I love a little bit of color blocking and this is like my favorite kind of sweater to pair with black jeans I am wearing just a pair of black express skinny jeans throughout this entire try on haul I will leave those linked down below as well so that you guys can shop if you are interested I love express denim but very cute again another sweater that you can do a lot with and you can layer with since it is Thanksgiving time I've got all things burnt orange and black on my mind I absolutely love this color combo and I know that this kind of screams Halloween but I wear this color combo all October and November long I think it's very flattering on my skin tone and I absolutely loved the fit of this sweater it is a rib knit and it's very very fitted usually when sweaters are fitted they are a little bit thinner which makes them great for layering very easy to throw on a puffer coat a leather jacket denim jacket anything like that over top I love the stripes on it the sleeves are the perfect length on me and it's not super cropped it's definitely not a full length but it's not super short either which I really like and I'm wearing a small in this as well I've been seeing these like capes everywhere recently and I had to give one a try this is what it looks like it's basically just like a neck hole and there are two armholes that you obviously put your arms through and it just like hangs down if you could wear a blanket this is the equivalent it's so soft 
soft, so cozy, very warm. And again, another piece that you can do a lot of layering with. I love wearing something like this over top of a black fitted turtleneck. I swear by black fitted turtlenecks. All of the ones that I wear are from Shein and you can find them linked in the shop tab down below. And I just, I love this. I mean, how freaking cute. You could wear this with black jeans. You could wear it with leggings over the knee boots. Even you could, you could honestly even wear leather shorts underneath this, like bike shorts if it's a little bit um, cooler where you are with tights and black booties. That would look really good as well. I decided to give one cardigan a try because it's very rare that I pick up cardigans from Shein. I'm not really a cardigan girl. Um, I prefer sweaters just because, I don't know, I like them better. But I wanted to give this one a try and it reminded me why I don't give cardigans a try from Shein because I really am not a huge fan of this. It's very cute on, but it's just not my favorite material. It's a little bit scratchy and it's got that eyelash um, material as you guys can see which is a little bit fuzzier and some people really love that and I just don't it's a very cozy feel it's a very cozy fit this is super long very oversized if you are working from home this is awesome to just throw over top of a solid white tee some leggings even joggers like whatever it's like you know again wearing a longer blanket if you just want some extra warmth I wasn't lying when I said I was on an oversized sweater kick. I grabbed this one and I grabbed this in a size large. I just realized I must have read the size chart and said, oh, the sleeves will be really short. Sometimes I do that, but this one came super, super oversized. So you don't need to go up two sizes if you're in the same boat as me. I was like swimming in this, but in a way that I really love. This is definitely something I will wear with faux leather leggings and a pair of snakeskin boots. I love this combo so much. And usually the key to that is wearing something a little bit longer you can also do this with sheer tights if you are on the shorter side I'm only 5'2 so I can get away with kind of wearing this as more of a sweater dress but very very cozy this is 100% acrylic and usually I hate acrylic I try to stay away from it but this one's super soft very thick and definitely going to keep you warm you know me and my love for outerwear I had to go ahead and grab a few coats I love puffer coats from Shein they do them so well at such an affordable price point if you are looking for a trendier jacket I highly recommend checking out their stuff I grabbed this olive green puffer and it's like a corduroy velvet it looks like corduroy but when you feel it it's very soft like velvet to the touch and it is so puffy and perfect I literally love this this kind of coat although it has a lot of fluff to it it doesn't have a ton of insulation just because it is polyester so keep that in mind it's not necessarily a coat that you are going to wear when it's like 30 degrees you are better off getting like a North Face a Columbia jacket something like that but for those fall days and as we transition into like snowy temperatures I can wear one of these especially when I have a chunky sweater and turtleneck layered underneath love 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 cannot say enough good things and this color is such the perfect like color but neutral if you know what I mean long puffers are my absolute jam and I have one from Eddie Bauer and that's like typically what I would wear as I walk to class as I walk around campus because second semester here it is freezing at like 20 degrees every single day um, in the morning when you leave for class so I usually wear that kind of parka but I wanted a parka that I could kind of transition into parka season with I know that sounds kind of weird and I just talked about this kind of coat but I can get away with this right now when it is 40 degrees outside but I hate transitioning into my snow coat right away so I grabbed this puffer as a little transition coat and this one basically just isn't as insulated it's not as warm but it still has some puff to it it still has that longer look but I can kind of get away with this on a day when it's like 40 degrees 30 degrees outside whatever and I don't necessarily want to pull out my big parka and wear the hood and have the fur and be sweating either so I love this the color is absolutely fantastic Fantastic. I've seen bloggers and youtubers rave about this kind of coat this season. They are a classic You can wear them with joggers. You can wear them with leggings jeans dress them up dress them down um, So yeah, I was really impressed with this one and the color like I said is such an essential I can't seem to get off the shacket kick right now and I grabbed this crop shacket because I thought it'd be perfect for Thanksgiving time. It's before Thanksgiving when I'm filming this and I am considering wearing this one. This one's super cute and you can honestly dress up tons of basics with something like this. It is a light tan and a little bit of orange and white mixed in there. Thicker than a flannel, thinner than a jacket so it's that perfect little in between, just an added layer. Super cozy, cute and like I said this is on the cropped side. I'm wearing a size small. 
All right, this is my last kind of jacket in this, and I wanted this to be a jacket, and it's not. It's basically, this material is equivalent to wearing a sweatshirt. It's very soft, it feels really great and awesome, but on the website, it looks like it's going to be a wool, like, knee-length trench coat, and it's that's literally not what this is at all. It's still very cute. On a 50-degree day, I could throw this over a sweater and just head on to campus, whatever. That's great, but it's not a jacket. It. This isn't gonna keep you warm. It's, it's basically like a shacket, just not the flannel part. Um, so I don't know. It's kind of cute. The sleeves run a little bit short, so keep that in mind. If you do have longer arms like me, I probably would skip this one. I've got the biggest obsession with knee-high boots going on right now, so I grabbed these snakeskin babies from Shein, and I am obsessed. These might be sold out by the time I'm posting this, and if so, I will try to leave a similar pair down below. I've got a pair of gray snakeskin boots, but these are more of a brown. As you can tell, they've got a little bit of tan mixed in there, and they are so darn cute. They've got a little bit of a point and a very comfortable walking heel these are only about two and a half three inches so nothing crazy they definitely look like a faker leather i mean as you can tell they are a little shiny but for the price you're paying you really can't beat these they are a great trendy shoe you're obviously not going to be reaching for these every day and when it comes to pieces that you're not going to wear on an everyday basis that is when i would definitely recommend going to shein over spending like 80 dollars on a pair of boots i can't wait to wear this with black jeans and that tan sweater i picked up a few different body suits the first is this black one right here because i really wanted to try out this like underwire trend it's not really underwire but it has like this little seam underneath of the boobs that goes like this it's very flattering whether you have a larger chest or a smaller chest especially because it is a mock neck so you've got a little bit of a higher cut and there is mesh along the bottom it's definitely something different I don't own anything like this but I thought it'd be a cool like it's almost like a modest going out top but it's still fun like it's unexpected but on the bottom I don't know it was cool it was fun it fit great the length was awesome it is a full coverage one but it does have snaps to make going to the bathroom I also grabbed this white bodysuit that is extremely overexposed right now and I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this. I really wanted to love it but the sleeve length is kind of awkward on me. It's They're like longer short sleeves and I don't, I don't know how I feel about it 100% and it is a like wider scoop neck. It's almost like a mix between a scoop and a boat. I don't know how to describe it. I think that this is a great basic if you are looking for something a little dressier, if you are interning or you are working in a business casual setting you could easily pop a blazer over this you could layer a cardigan tuck this into dress pants and it's a very nice material it's definitely higher quality and I believe it's from their Shein basics line the length is really good on it and it does snap as well so like I said if you're looking for a professional basic this is the one I literally love turtleneck bodysuits from Shein I've got a gazillion of them and this is the cotton and spandex blend so if it says 95% cotton 5% spandex it is going to be awesome they're very soft like so stretchy comfortable I I cannot say enough good things about these I've got one in white I've got one in black and I grabbed one in this light tan it's not really a mock neck but it's not really a turtleneck either it's kind of an in-between overall this is just a great neutral piece these are essentials in my wardrobe I reach for them whether I'm going out and want a fun jacket over top or if I'm just staying in and wearing a pair of joggers I've mentioned in a few different videos recently that I have been on such an orange kick and I picked up this bodysuit right here this is very sophisticated but it's still sexy at the same time just because of the silky material it is and it does have a v-neck It's not super plunging so you can get away with this in like I said more of a professional setting But you could totally leave this undone wear a lace bralette underneath and wear this out as well I wish I would have had higher waisted jeans on when doing the try on because it looked a little silly You definitely need high-waisted jeans with this the sleeves look like this They are a paler orange and they bishop out a little bit They've got a little button along the sleeves and overall just a really gorgeous color. I think this is very complimentary on a lot of different skin tones and perfectly festive for this time of year. Last up for the tops, I grabbed this little skimpy pleather bralette looking kind of tank top, crop top, whatever you want to call it. And pleather is really hard to do well. And I find that Shein actually does a pretty good job with it. It's a very cheap material to work with, so it's very ill-fitting on a lot of people. But I really liked the way this fit. It's kind of boxy on the sides, but like in a good way I don't know how to describe it there's a little zipper along the side to get this on and off and it crosses a bunch of times I love wearing this kind of top when I'm headed out I know that corona you're not headed out in the same way but I still like to get dressed up even if I'm going to hang with my two roommates like I really don't care 
picks or it didn't happen so um, I love wearing something like this this would be great for a New Year's Eve and you could easily layer something sequined over top with this you could pair this with a skirt black high-waisted jeans you name it I don't know why but when I saw these white and black two-toned pants I had to have them it's very 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 rare that I ever reach for bottoms from Shein just because they typically are not my favorite they never impress me and they usually don't fit me if I'm being honest but I grabbed these and I'm kind of glad I did I'm not 100% sure how much I'll wear them but I thought they were fun again another piece that if you work in an internship business setting these would be a fun trendy thing to reach for I don't know they're white on one side black on the other and they've got this little buckle belt along the center I actually took pictures in these the other week my friend Liv Petunas styled me and she styled these really really well I loved the way they looked with a black crop top that was open in the back but like I said you can make these more professional very fun very different but I don't know kind of cool Speaking of pleather things, I grabbed these leather pants. And the first time I put them on, I literally hated these. I felt like that scene from Friends where Ross puts on the pants and is like, oh, I'm freaking out. That's how I felt when I put these on the first time. But I tried them on again with that fitted white bodysuit and I loved them. I think that you need to wear something fitted that's tucked in with these. I put them on with like a t-shirt and I hated the way it looked. It looked like I was like swimming in these. They really accentuate the waist, but you need something fitted so that they don't look so boxy because they are really straight in the actual like thigh calf area they're not very fitted and they've got these cool little flaps along the sides they obviously do look like fake leather but they are and you're not paying for real leather so I mean you can't really expect it to look like that they don't make a lot of sound when you walk though I know some pleathers like they literally sound ridiculous when you wear them these ones thankfully don't and they've got this little cuff along the bottom so that they fit like joggers these would be great if you are on the taller side because they'll give you more of that ankle feel or if you are short like me they'll be more full I can't speak they'll be more full length if you're short like me last pair of pants is just a pair of corduroy shorts you're probably wondering Mackenzie why the heck are you buying shorts in the middle of November but it is because I love wearing shorts with sheer tights underneath I think it's so classic it's effortless and you just look cool doing it if I'm being honest I love wearing these with an oversized sweater tucked into the front and a pair of sock booties I'm sure you'll be seeing this outfit plenty on my Instagram style by McKenzie over the coming weeks this one actually came with like a little belt I don't think I had the belt on in the try on portion but it just looks like this so very simple I grabbed just a few dresses the first one I grabbed is this like knit Henley dress because I thought that it was really cute on the model and it doesn't look as cute on me just because I'm too short if you are on the taller side like I would say if you're five five or taller this would look really adorable on you but it looks kind of weird on me because I'm short and you can't really belt it because of these buttons so I'm not 100% sure how I'm gonna style this yet it's got that like thermal t-shirt feel to it very soft very cozy but like I said size was a little off for me I never ever ever reach for fitted dresses because I don't feel like they flatter my shape at all I'm not very curvy I don't have a big butt um, nor do I have really big boobs either so honestly I just I try to stay away from like bodycon dresses in general but I have seen a lot of people styling these on my Pinterest recently and they look really cool doing it so I was like fine I'll give it a try and I did and I'm so glad I did because I thought that this dress was very flattering on for what little curves I do have I felt that this was very slimming it was very flattering on my figure hugged my curves in the right places like I said this is a midi I am on the shorter side so it came down like right in between my knees and my ankles so you know it'd look really cute with a pair of booties or even flats again if you work in that business internship setting a lot of you guys have been asking for pieces that could work for work and this one definitely would a very soft double lined material and it is just a black ribbed mock neck wedding guest dresses I've been getting tons of questions about them and I actually just uploaded a blog post a couple of weeks ago sharing um, some fall slash kind of Christmassy wedding guest dresses but if you're still looking for one this one would be perfect for a wedding or a holiday party very very gorgeous this cranberry wine color is stunning it's complimentary on everybody every body shape this dress I actually have this in black and I loved the dress so much which is why I grabbed it in this color it self ties along the side and it's got those bustier style cups that are just really trendy very fun right now it's got a high leg slit on one side to really show off those legs add a pair of nude heels with this and a pair of gold hoops and you are good to go 
perfect for the holiday season and like I said such an affordable price you can't beat. Last but not least I picked up some activewear. It's been ages since I picked up some new workout wear from Shein so I decided now was the time. I've been slacking on my workout grind so I figured maybe some new pieces would make me more motivated to go. So I grabbed this gray sports bra set and I love this. Some Shein activewear is great. Some of it sucks. I always get questions from you guys about it. So if it is nylon, polyester, and spandex that blend is always very very good it's like a gym shark dupe they rock so much I love this so basically it looks like this it's got a little bit of dark gray accents and then the back it kind of has it's like a double sports bra it's got a racer back and then it's got like a tank top strap as well so very fun and then the leggings look like this I'm sorry guys that's starting the lighting starting to get funny it's starting to get dark out because it gets dark so early but I grabbed these leggings. I am wearing this set in an extra small and this one has got like little ribbed details along the side. And then as the bottoms go down, you can see there are like little mesh holes along the bottom. Alrighty, and then last but not least, I picked up this set and these are actually sold separately. So if you need a different size in top and bottom, you are in luck. I just turned this inside out. I'm realizing, oh well, you're gonna have to look at it inside out. So basically this is a fitted top and usually I hate tops to the gym. I prefer to just wear a sports bra and a pair of leggings but this is that same material as those leggings so it's and it's fitted so you basically don't have to wear anything underneath of this it does serve the purpose as a sports bra and because it is so high it's not like a scoop neck or anything your boobs aren't going to be falling out of this it actually does give you a lot of support I really like this and the color is absolutely incredible the color is actually why I'm so obsessed with this set in the first place this wine is like it's like purplish wine it's so beautiful and the leggings look like this these are a 7 8 length which is my absolute favorite I think it's really flattering on my petite self and these leggings come up just enough alrighty guys that is going to be all for today's Shein Black Friday haul like I said they are running sales all month long to celebrate Black Friday Thanksgiving Cyber Monday Christmas all that kind of stuff so make sure you guys are checking back I will leave my coupon code here on the screen so that you guys can save 15% off and in the description bar down below make sure you're following me on style by McKenz on Instagram so that you guys can see how I'm styling some of these pieces and I will talk to you very soon hit that subscribe button guys love you oh my god how could I forget I also got this leather bucket hat that has a little bit of Sherpa lining and literally everyone in this house has tried it on and it just looks dumb on all of us but like cute at the same time I mean comment below what you think